Hello and welcome to this RTC Draft X3 introduction. We will learn where to get the software, how to register, how to install, the features of the free version and where it differs from the full paid version. Basically everything you need to get up and running. There are timestamps throughout the video, so you can easily jump to specific topics. Where to start? Go to rtc.com and click the orange Get Free Version button. This is the RTC Draft X3 registration page. You may also arrive here after clicking a link in an article or on social media. On the left side of the page, you will find detailed information and a dedicated FAQ section for RTC Draft X3. On the right side is the registration form. Just enter name and email, check the required boxes and click the button to confirm. No payment info required. If you like, you can also subscribe to the RTC newsletter here. After confirming your registration, you will receive a welcome email containing your license key and the download link for the software, usually within a couple of minutes. Download the installer executable and run it. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Only if you don't have the required .NET Framework version installed on your system, the installation process will abort, but provide you with a link where you can download and then install the framework. Next, you can paste in the license key you received in your welcome email. Select an installation folder and off we go. You will see a shortcut icon on your desktop now. In case you downloaded the general client installer from our website, you can use this one as well for the free version. Only here you need to specify which version you would like to install. Select the free version here and continue through the rest of the installation process as before. When you open RTC for the first time, you will be greeted by the So Far Empty welcome screen. Let's begin by installing the RTC demo projects. It is far easier to see the specifics of RTC Draft X3 with a project that already contains some content. Click Demo Projects and Confirm. After a short while, the demo projects will appear in the project selection. They are a great way to see how RTC Draft can be used in different ways for different projects. Dracula is the project for the first steps tutorial series, which we highly recommend if you are new to RTC Draft. In case you are planning to work with Unreal or Unity, Maniac Manfred is worth a closer look. It is a point and click adventure and in combination with the corresponding engine project, which of course you can also download for free, it is a small playable game. Let's open Maniac Manfred now. RTC Draft X3 comes with all the bells and whistles of the full paid version, which makes it ideal to check out the new features. Localization allows you to set up all your target languages directly in RTC Draft. Have absolute control over which properties are to be localizable. Monitor or translate directly in the app. If you like, also with DeepL assistance or use the localization and voiceover exports to provide the data to external parties and import everything back into RTC Draft later. AI extensions provide access to third-party service providers directly in RTC Draft. Access them for AI-assisted dialogues, barks or preview images for quick prototyping or sparking ideas. Also new in RTC Draft X is the generic engine export, which is a good starting point for creating your own importer for your engine of choice. You can find links to detailed information for all new features in the video description. If we click the Project State button at the top right, we see the one difference to a full version. With RTC Draft X3, 
you can set up an unlimited number of projects with 700 free objects per project. This pool of 700 free objects is divided up into a couple of areas. 500 objects for flow and documents, however only flow fragments, dialog nodes and dialog fragments are counted, other flow elements which are mainly used for organizational and overview purposes can be used without being counted against the object pool. Then there are 50 objects for entities, 140 assets and 10 locations. For the Maniac Manfred demo project we are still fully in the green regarding the number of objects used. We could add a lot more dialogue, put in new items or characters and increase the game world by adding additional locations. In case you exhaust the free object pool in an area, it just means that you can no longer add objects for this specific area. For example, I just created my 50s entity with this item. So I cannot add another entity, like a character or another item. The Create Entity button is grayed out and inactive currently. But I can still work on my dialog or locations. If you ever exceed the object pool in an area, for example by copying and pasting content, you will receive a notification and the project will be set into a locked state. Still no need to worry. The locked state just means that you cannot add any more objects to the project in general, otherwise you still have access to all your project data. You can open locked projects, view them, even export their data. I'd like to point out the shared object pool for flow elements and the document view as it may not seem intuitive on the first glance why those are put together. If you are using dialogues or dialog lines in documents, they count towards your total for the flow and document area. Because internally they are handled the same. Text elements or images within a document do not affect the counter. If you feel you are running out of objects in the flow category, but don't have a lot of content there, you might want to check your documents. If the project gets locked, there are two ways to remove this locked state. Either you delete objects until you are again below the locking threshold for the corresponding area, or if removing content is not an option, you can upgrade to a full version and immediately continue working with unlimited objects for all projects. Upgrading is super easy and you can start the process right from within the app. Go to the object counter and click the upgrade button. This takes you right to the pricing page for the single user license. For Artisy Draft X, we offer a subscription based model with monthly or annual payment. Prices include value added tax, with the percentage shown below the button, so they might differ slightly from the ones shown here, depending on where you are located. If you are planning to work collaboratively on a project, you should take a look at our team bundles instead. An entry to the multi user world of Artisy Draft. A free 14-day multi-user trial version is available. After you completed the process, you will receive your new license key via email. In Artisy's welcome screen, now select License Management from the main menu. First, we unregister the current free license. Then we click Register and paste in the new license key. That's it! If we now open our previously logged project, we can just continue working and add content to our heart's desire. This covers all for this small tutorial for RTC Draft X3. For guidance on how to use the software in general, we highly recommend our first step series. Additional tutorials and our help center can be found on the support page on rtc.com. The majority of existing RTC Draft 3 material is still valid for RTC Draft X. Over time we will add new tutorials covering new RTC Draft X specific features. If you have questions or want to share what you're working on, visit our RTC Reddit or the unofficial community discord. All links are in the video description below. All the best and stay creative!